Well, good evening, brothers and sisters. I am Minister John Pickens with Revelational Ministries, and I would like to thank each of you for listening and joining us on this Tuesday evening. Amen for prayer. Bless the name of the Lord. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. The Bible says, let everything that had breath praise ye the Lord, for his praise shall continuously, continuously be in all of our mouths today. It is always a blessing. It is always a blessing, brothers and sisters, to be in the house of the Lord, to be counted amongst the living and not amongst the dead. There is always something to be thankful for and something to give God the glory and praise that he deserves. And in doing so, he will make his home with us so that we can experience both his fullness and his wholeness. Bless his holy name today. I have to first begin by always giving honor to God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for saving me from my sins and commissioning me to preach his word which is the good news, amen, the gospel of Jesus Christ to his people all around the world. Amen. Bless his holy name today. Now, tonight's scriptures will be coming from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 4 through 5, which says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds, the casting down of imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought, to the obedience of Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you this morning, Heavenly Father, to tell you thank you. We want to tell you thank you, Heavenly Father, before we ask you for anything else. We want to thank you, Lord, for forgiving us for all of our sins. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for clearing us, uh, cleansing us from the crown of our hairs to the soles of our feet. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending your only begotten Son, uh, whom sacrificed his life to become the appropriation, amen, the sacrifice for all of our sins. And uh, the word says that who the Son sets free is free indeed, and we are all free in the mighty matchless name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you today, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for your Holy Spirit that continuously intercedes on our behalf. For your word says we do not know what to pray for as we ought. And many times, Heavenly Father, we do not know what to pray for. Uh, Our emotions change, Heavenly Father. Our needs change. Each and every single person on this earth, Heavenly Father, is standing in need of something. And only you know, Heavenly Father, what those solutions are. Only you, Heavenly Father, know what the remedies are. So we want to thank you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen for being our provider, for being our sword, for being our shield. Blessed be your almighty name today. Heavenly Father, we want to pray today, Lord God, over all of the children around the world. Heavenly Father, we want to lift every single one of them up to the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray covering over them, Lord God. We want to pray covering over them. We want to pray protection over them in your matchless holy name. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for the parents of those children, Lord God. And not just the parents, Lord, that are here now. We pray for the future parents, Heavenly Father. We pray for those right now in your holy name that are still a man looking for their significant other. We pray over them, Heavenly Father, because this is the pairing, amen. This is where the issues for the children start, Heavenly Father, with the pairing of the parents. So we pray today, Lord God, that uh, as people seek, amen, who they are going to have marriages with, Lord, we pray, Lord God, that they seek you first, uh, that they seek you first so so they get with the right person, Heavenly Father, uh, so that these children can have a fighting chance in this world. Heavenly Father, for many of them are born, amen, into uh, your word says we are all born into this world in iniquity. But Heavenly Father, some of the parents, they uh, are uh, placing their children in harm's way from the beginning by opening the doors, opening the portals, amen, for the enemy uh, to come in to kill, steal, and destroy at the womb, Heavenly Father. Uh, Waken our minds today, Lord, so that we understand that uh, we are not in a flight, a fight with flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
and those spiritual wickedness, Heavenly Father, seeks to enter in from that child, Heavenly Father, uh, to, to create emotional instability, Heavenly Father, the emotional instability that is contained within marriages and relationships transfers to that child, Heavenly Father. Uh, the sins of the father, amen, the sins of the mother, all of these things, Lord, transfer to that child, Heavenly Father, and that child is born uh, if the child is born into a dysfunctional relationship, that child will be dysfunctional. But we want to pray today in the name of Jesus Christ that uh, the parents, Heavenly Father, those who are seeking spouses, Lord, that they seek you first. To seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things be added unto us. So we pray today, Lord, for your wisdom. We pray today, Lord, that we have our priorities in order, Heavenly Father, that we are placing you first, Heavenly Father. Because we must have the understanding that all the actions that we do, Heavenly Father, as we do what this world commands us, which is to live our truth, uh, that truth will have real reverberating consequences, Heavenly Father, on the children, Lord, that are being born, amen, from these unions. So we want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ for wisdom for the parents, Heavenly Father. Uh, we want to pray uh, a dispelling of the lies of the enemy, Heavenly Father, over our minds, Lord, so that we are freed, amen. So we are freed for your word says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, Heavenly Father. We do not war, amen, with the weapons that we see here in front of us, Lord, with guns and knives, Heavenly Father. But our weapons, Lord God Almighty, they are mighty through you, uh, Lord God, for pulling down the strongholds of the mothers, pulling down the strongholds of the fathers, pulling down the strongholds of generations after generations, and casting down imaginations, Heavenly Father. Let us not be caught up in our own minds, caught up in our own imaginary worlds of what a marriage is supposed to be caught up in our own minds, Heavenly Father, of what life is supposed to be, caught up in our own minds, Heavenly Father, of what the truth of this world is, uh, when the truth of this world is Jesus Christ. For your word says, you are the way, the truth, and the life. No man can go to the Father unless he is drawn, and no man can go to the Father uh, except through the Son. So we want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that these imaginations in our mind, Lord, are cast down. Cast down in the name of Jesus Christ. Cast down, Heavenly Father, let us continue to break, amen, the altars of Baal, the idol gods, the golden calves in our life. Things that are keeping ourselves uh, from uh, exalting you, Heavenly Father. Things that are keeping ourselves from uh, keeping our minds dead. Don't be things, Heavenly Father, that are are keeping themselves, amen, that uh, for keeping our minds, Heavenly Father, for accepting the truth, accepting your word into our life. Uh, and, and we thank you, Lord God, for bringing every thought, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. So we want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for your word. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you today, Lord, for your truth. And because there is no other truth, Heavenly Father, everything else, Lord, is a lie. For your word says, let God be true and let every man be a liar. So we thank you today, Lord, for this revelation. Revelation, uh, this revelation of Jesus Christ, that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, Heavenly Father. So we thank you today, Lord, for this realization. We thank you today for the covering of the children. We thank you today for the covering of the, the marriages, Heavenly Father. We thank you today for the deliverance of the children, Lord God. We pray, amen, that we send every unclean spirit Amen. Out in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We start right there in our own households, Lord. Let us deliver, uh, amen, our own children and nieces and nephews, those who we have tutelage over, those whom we have control over. Let us pray deliverance for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and let us not enter in, Lord, enter in that realm with a mind of doubt. Heavenly Father, I'm doubting mine, Lord God, because those are the minds, Lord, that are not going to be able to deal with the enemy. Heavenly Father, those who do not believe, amen, that we are at war. Lord, uh, those that do not believe that we can cast them out, Lord, when your word clearly tells us, Heavenly Father, uh, that you have given us the authority to, you have given us the authority to reclaim our households, Lord God, but too oftentimes we're trying to reclaim the household of someone else. Uh, we're trying to reclaim the relationship of someone else. Lord, charity begins at home. Love begins at home. Deliverance begins at home. So let us start with ourselves. Let us start with our own households in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray today, Lord God, over all the church members, over all the church members members and all the church leaders, no matter where they are located around the world. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you today, Lord, for delivering them. Uh, we want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for covering them. We want to thank you today, 
Heavenly Father, Lord, for equipping them, Lord God, for the warfare that they are engaged in, Lord God, from the front of the pews to the pulpits, Lord, to the amen corners, to the choirs, to the finance room, to the usher boards. We pray over all aspects of the church congregation. Amen. We pray over the elders. We pray over the board of trustees. We pray over the treasurers, the secretaries, the historians, uh, the presidents, vice presidents, the pastors, Lord God, we the assistant pastors. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, for every single man, woman, and child in the body of Christ, no matter what their position is, Heavenly Father. Uh, for in the end, Heavenly Father, we know that there's only going to be one position, Lord, that we can audition for into heaven, and that is to be a servant, to be a servant of the Most High. Amen. So that regardless of whatever positions we have down here, uh, regardless of whatever titles we may have down here, whatever it is we're trying to earn, we need to understand that there is only going to be one way, amen, one truth, and one life. Glory to your name today. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you again for your sacrifice. We thank you again, Heavenly Father, for your pouring out. Uh, we thank you again, Heavenly Father, for your overflow of blessings. Heavenly Father, we want to pray today, amen, to create and declare and to push, amen, and to push, Lord God, into this new realm, to push, Heavenly Father, into this new day, to push forward on the warpath, Heavenly Father. Let us continue to launch counterattacks, Lord, in the spirit. Let us reclaim, Heavenly Father, what the kingdom of violence has taken for your word says uh, the kingdom suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Uh, so let us take back, Heavenly Father, the things that have been stolen from us. Lord, let us take back, Heavenly Father, our faith. Let us take back, Heavenly Father, our courage. Let us take back, Heavenly Father, our marriage, our relationships. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory, Heavenly Father. Amen. Victory over doubt. Uh, victory over addictions. Victory over strongholds. Victory over ungodly soul ties. Victory over idols, Heavenly Father. Victory over sickness and disease and death. Uh, victory over anxiety, Heavenly Father. Victory, Heavenly Father. Victory in the blood of Jesus Christ. So we pre, uh, pray this morning, decree and declare, Heavenly Father, uh, that this evening, Lord, as everyone retires, uh, this evening, Heavenly Father, as everyone lays their head down on the pillow, we decree and declare Declare right now victory for them and their marriages and their relationships and their households in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray tonight, Lord God, for all of our brothers and sisters around the world. We want to pray for our brothers and sisters around the world on all the continents that they are located in, Lord God. We want to pray not just for those who are here in the United States, but we want to pray for the entire body of Christ all over the world, Heavenly Father. For your word says, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It didn't say for a guy so loved only one group of people, amen, one skin color of people, one culture of people, that he only loved men or that he only loved women. Lord, he, your word says for God so loved the world. So we want to pray for the world tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to lift up for we know the world. You have the whole world in the palm of your hand, Heavenly Father. Uh, for there is no end, Lord God, to your reign. There is no end, Lord, Heavenly Father, uh, insight because your word says you are both the beginning and the end. Uh, you created time, Heavenly Father for us so that we may measure when it is day so that we may measure when it is night but you don't need time heavenly father you amen are eternal amen you are almighty uh you are elohim heavenly father you are el shaddai and we want to thank you lord this evening lord god for your revelation into our life we want to thank you lord for infiltrating yourself into our affairs lord god we want to thank you for resonating yourself lord and appearing amen at every aspect of our life lord we want to thank you heavenly father for being our our Lord and Savior, uh, for being everything to us, Heavenly Father, for none of us would be nothing without you. Your word says uh, that we are the leaves and you are the vine, and without you, Heavenly Father, we can do nothing. Uh, so we want to decree and declare right now, amen, in the name of Jesus Christ, victory, Heavenly Father, victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Heavenly Father, we want to decree and declare healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare healing, Lord God, over all those who are listening to the sound of my voice this evening. We want to pray for those who are not able to listen to you tonight. We want to pray for healing for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, whatever it ailment that they are dealing with, Lord God, whatever uh, demonic control the enemy is trying to extrapolate on the people, Lord God, whatever stronghold, Heavenly Father, uh, whatever, whatever wild, Heavenly Father, whatever trick, whatever fiery dart, we send it back in the name of Jesus Christ. We press forward today boldly. We push forward today strongly in the name of Jesus 
Jesus Christ. For your word says to be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might. Amen. Not the power of our intellects, not the power of our logical reasoning, uh, but not the power of our emotions. Uh, but let us be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might. Heavenly Father, for you have given men and women, Lord, the strength to take down 10,000, Lord God. For if a thousand fall at my right side and 10,000 at my left, Heavenly Father, we know that no harm shall come to us. So we decree and declare right now healing in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We declare healing from all viruses, healing from all bacteria, healing, Heavenly Father, Lord God, from all cancer, from all heart disease, from all brain aneurysms, Lord God, and brain tumors, Heavenly Father. We pray victory over all autoimmune deficiency diseases, Lord God. Anything that attacks the immune system where the immune system starts to attack the body, the very body. Lord God, we know many of these diseases, if not all of them, are reminiscent of things that are happening in the spiritual realm. But many of us, Heavenly Father, have chosen not to go out on the offensive against the enemy. Instead, Heavenly Father, many have chosen, Lord, to take your word and to use it against one another, uh, to cut each other down, Lord, to slay each other in the spirit, to slay each other in the flesh. Lord God, that is not the purpose for your word. That is not the purpose, amen, of our armament. We are to go on the offensive against the enemy, Heavenly Father, but instead we have shied from that battlefield, Lord God, and we want to war against one another, Lord God. So we want to pray against the spiritual autoimmune deficiency in the church. We want to pray against the spirit where we are attacking one another because of our differences. We want to pray today, Heavenly Father, against the violence, amen, that is located in our own households. Now, before we go out into the world, Heavenly Father, and critique the world, let us start in our own households, Heavenly Father, where there is a spirit of violence, a spirit of violence, Lord God, to do harm to one another's reputation. Heavenly Father, to do violence to one another's finances, to do violence to one another in terms of our emotions, Lord God. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that we send out those unclean thoughts, send out those unclean spirits, send out those unclean uh, intentions in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to pray today that we be of a spirit of love, uh, a spirit of grace, amen, and that of a sound mind this, this afternoon, Lord, this evening. We pray today, Lord, that everyone that is listening, Lord, does not lay their head down on that pillow before they have had an argument. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that whatever people are arguing about, Heavenly Father, uh, that they lay those things aside, lift up the name of Jesus Christ, and thanks, amen, and manifestation of all the things that you have done for us, all of the things you have blessed us with, all of the things, Heavenly Father, uh, that you have provided for us. Let our minds not be warped. Uh, let our minds not have short-term memories, uh, but let us always remember the goodness of Jesus Christ, the goodness and grace of God uh, that you have bestowed upon our lives, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you for the enemies, Lord God, that we've been able to vanquish, Heavenly Father, only because of you. We want to thank you for the victory, amen, over all uh, of the Canaanites, amen, the Hittites, amen, the, the Amalekites, amen, the Amorites, Heavenly Father, the Philistines, or whatever all of these things are representative in the spirit world. We pray, Lord, for victory over them, and we thank you for the victory over them, not because of anything that we have done, uh, but because of only you, Lord Jesus, and what you have done on that cross. Uh, for you came, Lord, to overcome the world, and what we, in order to overcome the world, need to believe in you, the one who overcame the world. Uh, so let us not be of the things of this world, Heavenly Father, for we are created in this world, yes, uh, but we were not created to be of this world. So many of us may have grown up in very violent, tumultuous neighborhoods, Lord God, uh, but you did not call us, Lord God, to stay in those neighborhoods. So we decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that as we move, move uh, walk and move forward by faith, Heavenly Father, that we keep the right mind, Lord God, that we keep our minds attuned, that we keep our ears attuned to your voice. Uh, amen. Let us listen to your voice this evening. Uh, let your voice, Heavenly Father, guide our ways, O Lord. Uh, let your voice, Heavenly Father, be the lamp, amen, to all of our path. Amen. Because all of us, Lord God, are on some version of a path. Uh, but Lord, the only way we are know we are going in the right direction is that we have a personal, close relationship with Jesus Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, anyone that is listening that does not have a relationship with you, uh, for those that do have relationships, perhaps the relationship is not as close, uh, perhaps it has not been uh, refreshed, Heavenly Father. So let us turn back today, Lord. Your word says, let us reconcile with you. Uh, let us reconcile with the Father. Amen. Let us reconcile with the Father, Lord, all of the things we have done uh, in terms of our nature, Heavenly Father. Uh, many people say, well, uh, brother, there's nothing that I did wrong. We need to repent, Heavenly Father, because 
because of our nature, amen, the nature of a man, Lord, to do all sorts of insidious things. We, we turn this mind back over to you, Heavenly Father. We pray for those that are of a reprobate mind, Heavenly Father, those, amen, who are into the foolishness of this day, uh, the divination, uh, the wickedness and the witchcraft. We come against those things in the name of Jesus Christ, not being afraid, not being afraid for the enemy has taken enough. Uh, the enemy has taken and extrapolated violence against the church, violence against the people. Uh, and we do not lay down any further, Heavenly Father, uh, because you have told, amen, the Israelites as they were marching towards the promised land, as they were facing, amen, the Philistine, as they were facing the Amalekites, to be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might. Uh, not the power of our emotions, not the power of our genders, not the power of our race and culture, uh, not the power of our religion, but in the power, amen, the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You have uh, a name, Heavenly Father, uh, that is above every name, Heavenly Father. We do not come in our own name. Uh, we do not come in the name of a culture. Uh, we do not come in the name of a nation. We do not come in the name, Lord, of the president. We come in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, our Lord and Savior, uh, our provider, Heavenly Father, our protector, Lord God. You are our healer, Lord God. We thank you again for healing in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray right now, Lord. There are people right now in the, inter in the, uh, the emergency room right now. There are people in the ICU wars, Lord God, that are crying out for help. We intercede on their behalf. We intervene on their behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that their cries, Lord, makes it to your throne room, Heavenly Father, for you. We have a spiritual divine intervention, Lord, to take that pain away. Amen. We pray for those right now that are interceding and calling on your name from the prison cell, those who are doing 25 to life, uh, those who are just there for the night. Lord God, those who are crying out to you, Lord, in pain from the prisons, Lord, we decree and declare healing for them in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray uh, for deliverance for those that are being attacked. Amen. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, covering and a freeing and a renewing of their minds, Lord God. Let them be of a renewed mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray to you tonight, amen, for every child, Lord, left in an orphanage uh, that is crying out, Lord, for help, that is crying out to you, Heavenly Father, that is crying out, Lord, for change, for betterment, Lord God, for a new way. So we want to decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, healing, amen, and protection from all hurt, harm, and danger, both the seen and the unseen. There is someone, Heavenly Father, that is being robbed, uh, that is being attacked, uh, a home invasion, Heavenly Father, a domestic violence situation, whatever it may be, Heavenly Father, somebody jogging in the woods is being attacked by somebody, Heavenly Father. We want to pray right now and intervene, Lord. We want to pray uh, that your warned angels go to wherever they are needed right now, Heavenly Father, uh, to fight the arrest, Lord, to fight, amen, what the enemy is doing against the people. Heavenly Father, we pray right now there is someone on the road right now, Lord, uh, that is falling asleep. There is someone, Lord God, uh, that is not able to control their vehicle, that is someone right now, Heavenly Father, uh, that is dealing with oncoming traffic with someone uh, that is driving, Heavenly Father, that is under the influence of drugs, Lord, that is under the influence of alcohol. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, safety and security for those on the roads. We pray, Lord, on an awakeness, Lord God, for those that are sleepy, Heavenly Father, that are working multiple shifts, amen, just to pay their bills. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, covering for them. We intercede on their behalf. There is a pregnant mother giving birth, Heavenly Father, right now around the world. Uh, that is in need, amen, of your healing. That is in need, Heavenly Father, of your touch. Uh, that is in need, Heavenly Father, of your covering. We intercede on her behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone right now, Heavenly Father, that is about to give up, uh, that is about to give up and end it all, Heavenly Father, because they do not understand. They cannot process the emotions of life. They cannot process, Lord God, that relationship, that person that walked out on them, Lord God, where they have given everything, Lord. Uh, there are people about to give up, Heavenly Father, because they cannot find a wife, uh, because they cannot not find a husband uh, because they cannot find their children, Heavenly Father. There are people about to give up because they do not have the money, the finances to take care of their children, Lord God. But we pray an intervention right now. We pray to intercede on their behalf, Heavenly Father, wherever they are around the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, there are those right now who are on the fence, uh, those who are stuck on the fence of doubt. Amen. They want to believe, but they are not sure how to believe because they have been told and infused uh, with lies from this world, Heavenly Father. But we want to pray today, Lord God, we want to pray today for belief, for faith, for them in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that you manifest yourself in their life, Lord, uh, to bring them back to you, Lord God. Uh, for your word said, it is your desire that none shall perish. 
perish and you that you died for the world lord jesus so we want to thank you today lord for the victory we want to thank you today for what you have already done on the cross amen that for all we have to do is believe uh believe in the son of god for your word says that those that call upon the name of the lord shall be saved in the name of jesus christ so we want to pray i thank you heavenly father we want to thank you for pulling them down off that fence pulling those down off the cliffs pulling them uh, down out of the clubs heavenly father let this all return back to you heavenly father let us all return back to you to reconcile amen to come back to the father amen for the father has never left us uh your word says you will never leave us you will never forsake us glory to your name today so let us return back to you our heavenly father uh, let us turn back to you lord god jesus and covenant amen let us return back to you heavenly father in all of our ways let us commit all of our ways lord jesus to you all of our business ventures all of our relationships heavenly father let's commit our children let's commit our finances let's commit our minds for your word said is with our minds that we serve the lord so let us recondition lord and turn our lives our minds back over to you in the name of jesus christ let our minds let our bodies lord be our spirits uh, let these things lord be your instruments instruments to carry out your will heavenly father instruments so that we amen can perform the service to you the service to you and your kingdom lord god so we thank you today lord for your revelation we thank you today heavenly father uh, for this truth we thank you heavenly father for manifesting yourself lord upon us uh for many are manifesting all sorts of things into their lives and wealth and all sorts of things but lord we thank you today for your manifestation amen your manifestation the revelation of jesus christ uh which is the gospel of uh, the good news the good news that uh man does not have to perish uh, but that man can have everlasting life if man believes a man believes in the son of god believe that he came and lived and died uh to deliver us all from our sins to deliver us all from the egyptians amen to deliver us all from the slavery amen overseers we want to thank you today lord jesus for being free uh for being free from sin uh for being free from the strongholds of sin not that the people don't fall heavenly father not that we don't fall your word says a righteous man's fall seven times but lord we are not bound amen by the strongholds of sin we are not bound lord by the wages of sin for your word says that the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life so we thank you in acknowledge is your gift today we accept and receive your gift in the name of jesus christ lord we accept and receive the abundance of overflow in every area of our life we're not talking simply about money heavenly father we're talking about an abundance heavenly father of peace uh, an abundance heavenly father of strength an abundance heavenly father of faith an abundance heavenly father of peace in our households lord god and tranquility and grace heavenly father abundance and health and wholeness and spirit heavenly father uh, we pray against depression and and anxieties lord god and hopelessness we pray in abundant overflow lord god of these things in our life in the name of jesus christ and we know that they are possible because with you heavenly father all things are possible lord there are people that are dealing with the tragic losses of family members lord jesus we proceed on their behalf right now lord those that have lost their husbands and wives and children they did not make it home today uh, many people have lost all sorts of people lord close and near and dear to them we did intercede on their behalf in the name of jesus christ we pray heavenly father for an emergency healing we pray heavenly father for an emergency restoration we thank you heavenly father uh, for bringing us into this exigent situation this exigent circumstances lord these emergency circumstances uh, where people are holding own heavenly father by less than a thread but we decree and declare in the name of jesus christ healing for them we decree and declare in the name of jesus christ lord victory for them we thank you lord for protecting them we pray that whatever it is the enemy was doing heavenly father is turned around and is ended in the name of jesus christ whatever the enemy has tried to steal lord god it will be re uh, repaid seven times in the name of jesus christ lord whatever uh sowing heavenly father that the enemy is doing to destroy the people we pray heavenly father that your word says your word Work, continue to remain true as it always will that the candle of the wicked shall be put out in the name of jesus christ it may appear that they are prospering on the surface it may appear uh, that they are prospering somewhat in this world but in the end heavenly father uh your word says uh the ways of a man in his mind amen uh he does good but in the end it ends in destruction why because pride cometh before the fall heavenly father pride 
cometh before the fall. And so we want to thank you today, Lord Jesus, for keeping us uh, that of a spirit of a humble person. Uh, for your word says that you will exalt the humble and you will bring down the proud in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us not be of a prideful, narcissistic, arrogant spirit. Amen. But let us be full of grace. Amen. Let us be full of love. Amen. Let us, let us be full of thanksgiving. Amen. To God, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If a person does not know of anything else to be thankful for, perhaps they do not have the marriage. Perhaps they do not have money. Perhaps they do not have anything or anyone in their life. Let us give thanks to you, Lord Jesus, for providing our needs. We want to thank you, Lord, for bringing us water from a rock. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for delivering us from the red seas of this world. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, as you helped us cross over the Jordan rivers of life, over bring down the walls of Jericho in our life. We want to thank you in Jesus' name for all of the victories, all of the things that you have done for us, providing us manna from heaven, providing us your word. Glory to your name today. So we thank you today, Lord Jesus, for renewing our minds. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, for perspective and restoration. And we want to thank you tonight, Lord, for all those amen in attendance. We pray covering over them and their families. We pray healing over them and their families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for victory today. We thank you, Lord, for your love. Amen. We want to thank you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight here with Revelational Ministries. Please continue to join us on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. for prayer, Thursday nights at 8 p.m. for Bible study, and Sunday mornings at 11.30 a.m. for the Sunday morning service. Amen. And please continue to follow us, brothers and sisters, on YouTube at Revelational Warfare Ministries. That's Revelational Warfare Ministries on YouTube. Amen. Uh, uh, for additional biblical and word of God content, if you would like yourself or someone you know to be submitted to the prayer line, uh, our Tuesday night's prayer at 8 p.m., all you need to do, you can either submit comments down in the below or a man, you can go ahead and email us at Revelation of Warfare Ministries at Yahoo.com. That's Revelation of Warfare Ministries at Yahoo.com. Uh, that way, Heavenly Father, amen, we get the situation, whatever it is they need prayer for. They do not have to submit their personal lines information, uh, but your general description, amen, of what they would like to have prayed for. We thank you as we will lift all of these concerns up to you in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters.